Okay, so there's going to be a lot of information, but I promise it's all valuable. But you're going to have to listen because I'm going to be referencing a lot of things. Uh, if, if this were like a paragraph, there'd be a lot of commas. So please bear with me because I, these updates, I think, are important. Uh, because if you're struggling to, <laughs> to do anything, I think the process is pretty much the same across the board. So what I'm trying to do, just to reference the video a day or two ago, is use AI to create and in this case, um, ebooks that are relatively low uh, content, I guess you might call it low quality is maybe the wrong term. I mean, just, you know, between you and me, it's not like, you know, Pulitzer winning uh, uh, copy here. Um, it's more so like facts about sharks, uh, creative writing prompts, things like that, where you're more so just like providing the starting point for more conversations or something like that. Uh, and again, I'm not like, oh, this is going to change the world, but I think being able to conceptualize how to take AI content and sell it um, is really good. And this is like the starting point for me personally. Uh, maybe you're more advanced than me. Maybe you're thinking, what is he talking about? Either way, I think this video is somewhat going to appeal to you. So I went through, used ChatGPT to create 708 uh, unique creative writing prompts towards horror. And I used some other variables in there to make them all random. Um, a few tricks like, you know, start everything with a different letter of the alphabet. Uh, you know, have these focus on body horror. Have these focus on Lovecraftian horror. Have these focus on um, someone who goes back in time. Just things, things like that. Uh, and then I randomized them in Google Sheets. And so I have my sheet of a randomized list of passable, you know, none of them are like stupid or duplicate or nonsensical writing prompts. So we have that. And now my thought is, okay, I have to take this and format it into an ebook form. And that's really simple. Um, you just have your title page and I can use Blue Willow to create um, a picture, you know, or, or some kind of template for an image that I can then adjust in Illustrator or Photoshop to be my, my template. I'll put some text on there, call it 666 horror prompts, something like that, and then have some bonus ones. There's a whole lot of marketing that we can get into once the product's actually finished. So the, we've got our list. We're, I'm trying to figure out how to do this. So my first thought is, are there any existing services who do this? And I couldn't find any. Uh, about a year ago, I had a company called BookBolt reach out to me that facilitates creating Kindle KDP content, and that's um, publishing your own eBooks, basically. So I emailed them back and said, like, do you do this? Can I give you a CSV file and then um, some commands about where the cells go on each page? And I haven't heard back from them yet, but that's what I'm trying to do. And they charge like nine bucks a month, I think, for the basic beginner package. And so in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, hey, if I can do this, can I actually sell it as a service as well? Like five bucks a month, you can have unlimited uh, ebook formatting because what I'm doing now and the reason I thought of this is after I didn't get a response from BookBolt which it's been like three hours I'm not saying I expect the response immediately uh, I begin looking into Google scripts that I can write myself that will run pull data from my Google Sheets file create a Google document with the correct formatting um, and I'll probably have to add my own title page and all that stuff after the fact but create the the body of text in a formatted way that is passable it's good enough to do and so I don't really know JavaScript. That's what you would use for this. At least I think it's what you would use. So I went to ChatGPT and said, write me a Google Scripts code that does this. And it wrote it out. It's only like 40 lines or so. Um, I'll put it on the screen, I guess, so you can see how it looks because you're not really going to understand it if you don't know what this stuff is. And if you do know what it is, it's going to be very basic to you. But I have that, and I put it in, and I keep getting these same errors over and over and over again saying that, this script cannot access my file or can't find my file. So I'm working through that. I spent, it's like one o'clock now almost, and I have to go in and do, I have to ship out 25 orders. So I'm gonna put, you know, leave that for now. When I get to my warehouse, I'll probably post the code on like Reddit or Stack Overflow or something like that and see if I can get some free advice from people. Like, hey, why is this not working? I think the code is sound why can't it get my spreadsheet with the correct name? And hopefully I'll get a response on that because when I made the Bo Candy website and I made the Bo Jerky website and I made all these different websites, subscriptionboxes.co, all this stuff, at this point almost like 10 years ago, 
um, a really big helper was just people online who are experts in their craft. And yeah, what I'm asking is so simple and basically they can just rattle off a response and give it to me. If that doesn't work, then I'm gonna have to go the Fiverr route or freelancer.com and pay someone to do this. I don't like doing that because especially on freelancer.com. It used to be great a few years ago, but now it's these agencies, I guess you might call them, who are all based in the Philippines or Bangladesh, and they're just giving you extremely low ball offers on your bids, and then once you accept their bid, they try and renegotiate, and it ends up taking way more time than it's worth. And so I might go to Fiverr, I might find a different freelancing platform that I haven't used in a while, and see if I can get someone just to create a script that way, because it wouldn't take somebody who knows what they're doing more than an hour of time to do this. And so I, I can probably get it for like 25 or 50 bucks. Um, I don't have a budget for this project. Maybe I should if I start spending more and more money. But for the time being, I'm just kind of treating this as like a learning experience or exercise. And do I have any expectations about if this creative writing prompt book sells copies? I think it'll sell a few over the years, but I don't think it's gonna be the kind of thing where I'm making you know, five figures a month a passive income was what you'd call it, I guess. Uh, certainly, I think if I do this enough times, I can figure out a formula that is productive, but I really do have to get the basics down first of understanding how to create these programs that automate or expedite this kind of content creation so then I can use other automatic processes to scale it up. You know, as an individual entrepreneur, you really always wanna lean heavily on services that already exist or services you've built that can make anything faster. So that's where we're at. I'm still struggling through it, but I wanna update you guys as I go through this because if you're somebody out there who's struggling with a project, I, I mean, I would like to see this if I was in your shoes. If you like the kind of video, give it a thumbs up. Definitely helps this spread and incentivizes me to make more content like this. If you're new, subscribe, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.